is it going everybody, you're watching then about tech, so iOS 17 is finally here and you have probably already updated your iPhone, right? So today I'm gonna tell you how you can save a ton of battery life in iOS 17. Let's get started. Okay, so one of the biggest villains of battery drain, especially after updating to a major software update like iOS 17, is definitely app compatibility. So what you need to do is open up the App Store and then tap here at the top right hand corner on our profile picture. And then you'll see right here, updates, software updates. Go ahead and pull down all the way down until it refreshes and loads all of the software updates. And it's super important that you go ahead and update all. As you can see here, I have 24 apps that I need to update, and especially on those very first days and weeks and even months of a brand new software update like iOS 17, do this every day. Go ahead and update. Even if you have automatic app updates, sometimes they don't update automatically. So you have to do this manually update. And with this, you'll guarantee that you have apps updated, more compatible, therefore draining less of your iPhone battery. So tip number two will have to do with AirDrop. So go ahead and pull down our control center and then tap and hold on our connections card right here and then AirDrop. On yours, it'll probably be like that, contacts only, this is the default way, okay? So tap on it and then tap on receiving off. And by doing that, you'll save a ton of battery life, especially on iOS 17, because we have new features related to closeness. So AirDrop on iOS 17 now works if you bring your iPhone closer to another person. So there's this proximity sensor that's gonna be activated now and it has to do with name drop as well, where you're gonna bring your iPhone closer to another iPhone and then it's gonna exchange your card, your contact card, okay? And all of those things have to do with AirDrop and they're new to iOS 17. So all of that new connection and all that will definitely drain a lot of your battery. And of course, when you need to use AirDrop, you simply go ahead and enable it back up. Swipe down, tap and hold, tap on it, and then everyone for 10 minutes, that's how we use it already, right? And afterwards, tap here, receiving off, and then you're good to go. Good for a battery, good for privacy as well. Now let's talk about the new live wallpapers in iOS 17. So as you can see, every single time that I wake my screen, the little video plays. And this is not like live wallpapers from before, where you would need to tap and hold in order for it to move. No, 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 every single time that you wake your screen, as you can see right here, it's gonna do it, it's gonna play this little animation, live video. It's actually playing a video. So as you can imagine, even though this is very, very cool, this is bad for a battery. Every single time you wake your phone, it's gonna be moving and giving the animation and playing this video. So I do recommend that you pick photos that are not video, so not live photo. Or if you wanna use a live photo, just disable the feature which stands right here when you are choosing your wallpaper. So just use it as a normal photo. Now let's talk about standby mode. So while the iPhone is locked and charging, you put it in landscape, right? Wait a few seconds and then you have standby mode as you can see. And you may be thinking, okay, but how can this be bad for battery if it's literally charging my iPhone? But the thing is, standby mode is bad for a battery in the long run. It's bad for your battery health, your battery lifespan, because many, many people are using the standby mode like this for many, many hours every single day. So then they leave the iPhone like that, it's gonna charge to 100%, and then keep charging, maintain that 100% for hours. As I said, all the time, every single day. And I don't recommend that you do that because as you know, charging your iPhone past 80% and especially holding that charge at 100% is really bad for a battery. I have videos here on the channel if you wanna check it out, card right here and link in the description, okay? so. Don't use it like that. Of course, if you wanna use it every once in a while to do something specific, it's great, but don't make this your routine like a daily habit. Now let's talk about widgets because in iOS 17, widgets are interactive right here 
on your home screen. So then as you can see, I have my reminders widget right there. And then of course I can go ahead tap on it, mark as completed, and then I can interact with it straight from the home screen. And even though this is really cool and really great, like widgets have always been a battery drain on iPhone for ages, since it was released a few years ago. And now in iOS 17 with this interaction, it's even worse. So if you don't really use widgets or don't really care that much, I would recommend not using them on your home screen. Okay, especially now, as I said, that they are interactive and constantly updating information. That's why widgets are a battery drain because they're constantly updating and renewing everything that you see right here. And of course, the same applies to your lock screen. So it's gonna be the exact same thing. If you have widgets right here, they're gonna be constantly updating, fetching new data, and of course, uh, draining battery because they're gonna be always working in the background. So again, if you don't really care, if it's not that important, you can go ahead and remove your widgets. Now let's talk about Siri because there is a new update to Siri in iOS 17 that made it pretty bad for battery. So if you go to your settings, and scroll down until you see Siri and search. As you can see, the listen for feature will now work for both Hey Siri, as they always used to be, and now, as you can see, and now just Siri, as you can see right there. So now it's gonna be easier for Siri to pick up and to listen to you and to be ready and to be active for a command because now it's gonna be easier to invoke it. And even though this may seem like a good thing, but of course, this would drain your battery because now in a normal conversation, uh, talking to somebody, it's gonna be easier for your iPhone to mistake uh, this command and invoke Siri right here. So then I do recommend that it just turn it off uh, listen for Hey Siri. I've always gave this recommendation right here for many, many years. This will save so much of a battery because, of course, your iPhone is not going to be listening anymore, constantly listening here for our command, and especially now that it accepts two commands, so it's even worse. So then, if you just disable it, turn it off completely, it's going to be much better for you, and especially because no one really uses Siri, right? So then, why have it draining so much of our battery? Moving on, let's go ahead and head back to our settings, scroll down, tap on general, and now iPhone storage. That's right. So managing your storage is a great way to save battery on your iPhone because I don't know if you noticed this, but when your iPhone is pretty much full of storage and sending you that message that you need to clear storage and all, generally your iPhone is slow generally it feels heavy right and buggy sometimes and apps will crash and everything like that and that happens because when your storage is full your chip your processor will generally have a hard time doing your normal tasks so then it'll over process sometimes and of course this is really bad for your battery so go ahead here take a look at everything that's using and taking up your storage delete stuff uninstall apps, offload apps, it's super important that you go ahead and do this process manually because the more storage you clear right here, the more battery you'll save. And since we're on settings, let me give you another tip. So if you scroll down, go to general and then software update, this is a big deal as well, especially on those very first versions of iOS 17. So right now we're on iOS 17.0, right? So make sure to always go ahead and take a look if there is an available update. For example, iOS 17.0.1, which will be the next version, okay? Because those very first software updates will be very important for optimization and of course, keeping your battery a little bit better and dealing with battery drain. So make sure to always have a look here because any software update that pops up, go ahead and update, it'll be better for you, especially on those very first versions. Still here on your settings, tap on cellular, and then if you have more than one number, tap on the number that you use mobile data, right? And then on voice and data, tap on that option and make sure that you leave 5G auto and not 5G on. Because 5G, if you don't know, it drains so much of your battery. It uses so much. It even heats up your iPhone. So 5G is really, really, really bad for battery. So if you use 5G auto, your iPhone will automatic adjust, okay? And just enable 5G when you need it. 
when you're just using something that needs that require that faster speed if you're doing something that doesn't like reading emails or something it's gonna be 4g so it's gonna do it automatically so leave it as 5g auto and save a ton of battery life if you leave as 5g on it'll always be on 5g always draining your battery now if you have an iphone 14 pro or pro max or 15 pro or pro max i do recommend that you go ahead go to your settings scroll down a bit until you see right here your display and brightness and that you really pay attention to and take good care when talking about the always on display okay this is probably the biggest villain of those iphone models battery and generally i don't use the always on display at all on my iphone on the daily basis i turn it on for for this for recording videos but you'll definitely notice a huge difference especially here on the 14 pro and pro max so if you're having problems with your battery disable the always on display um even though it's optimized and everything like that and we know it adjusts the refresh rate and everything but it drains a ton of your battery so consider that option of course you can uh, disable show wallpaper disable show notifications and make the always on display pretty much dark but still disabling it altogether is the best option if you want to save battery life going back to our settings let's talk about live activities that became very very popular especially now in 2023 in ios 17. so go ahead open up your settings and scroll down all the way down until you find the apps that use live activities if you're not really familiar with the concept uh, those are the apps that will give you that dynamic notification right there at the top and will be constantly updating as well so then um, i know that this app right here uses it as you can see live activities it's uh, compatible with the feature so you can go ahead and disable the feature and then it'll just not work for this app and unfortunately you need to do this app by app okay so again it's pretty much like your widgets so they're going to be up here at the top in the dynamic island uh constantly uh updated and constantly giving you information so it's a battery drain and of course we have the old major always important battery saving tips on your iphone like for example notifications so go ahead here and disable notifications for apps that you don't use same thing here on background app refresh very important as well to disable it if you want to save of course we have many important features and tips related to location services tracking mail to never push but you fetch so those general tips and i'm going through them very fast because i have other videos here on the channel and i don't want to be too repetitive for my subscribers and for the viewers that follow me for a while so if you don't really know about those tips that i just mentioned go ahead here and take a look at this previous video i'll have a card right here and link in the description so you can see all those tips those very important as well but slightly older tips on this other video of mine and of course we always have the master tip the most important one which is of course low power mode right the famous low power mode that you can use no problem at all you can always use it there are no problems with it uh there are no restrictions or anything like that of course your iphone itself will be a little bit different will behave a little bit different while in low power mode since it of course uh disables a ton of features makes your iphone slower and many 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 things and if you also don't really know what low power mode does I'll go ahead and leave another video in the description and card so you can go ahead and take a look at low power mode in detail but i can tell you you can use it no problem and it does save a ton of your battery as well even though it disables a lot so that's pretty much it thanks a lot for watching this video i'll see you on the next one as usual bye bye